Hello everyone, this is Pedro Lara, comic book artist. I am doing live drawing sessions. Every day I say something different. Live drawing sessions, my comic, which is six units realms, realms reject. I cannot say the name of that comic. And it's soon to be on webtoon canvas is my entry the call to action contest that is going to be held uh, next june like june, june through july and webtoon, webtoon canvas contest is going to be best where artists showed uh, submit a comic episode uh, that is action oriented and has at, at least one fight, fight scene between two characters. This one has many fight scenes <laughs> and many characters. So I think we got that cover. But we don't have its time. So Without further ado, let's start. I'm super tired today, so probably this session is not going to be long. It's not going to be a long session going to be probably just this frame probably that just this frame I'm channeling here Nina's power Nina is a vampire fighter vampire fighter It's martial artist, certified badass. And I'm going to really move this to make this drawing easier for me. Like I don't want to draw upside down and I'm super tired because I was doing some artworks during the, the whole day through the day and uh, doing some concept art for a video game and the character that I was doing was really complex. It has many layers, many colors. The colors should be swappable, so the layers uh, work around that function. Like makes Nina's hair uh, so you are able to to make her hair blonde uh, or red hair or green or whatever color you want see so i am exhausted but discipline i got to work i got to work on this one Discipline is the key. The one from yesterday, I, I kind of fixed it a little bit before starting the stream. Because I was so tired 
the, the drawing looked like shit. I think it, it still looks like shit, but there is no time. There is no time for fixes. So it's going to be like whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. Like, I am not thinking this here. I am not thinking. I am not thinking if it's... If it's correct. I am just thinking of the... On the shape or the look and feel that it should have. What does it... It looks... I just don't understand how... I am the one that is wrong, obviously. I am the one that is wrong. But I, I just don't understand how many artists, they just do like, <laughs> and they are done. They, they are like, and that's the hair. And, and, I, and I, I am like, yeah, of course, that's the hair. Yeah, it's it's suckling. That's, that's the hair, it works. But when I do my art, artwork, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I cannot just like make a couple of lines and say that that's the arm and do it. I have to go, okay? There is a muscle, and the muscles connect here, and this is the elbow bone connects here through here, and this creates a shadow. There is another muscle here and here. And this is all muscles. So those muscles have shadows here, here. See? I, that's the only way I can do it. The, the other way, I, I just think it's not complete, it's not ready, it's lazy. And I should not get paid if I don't, if I do that. I am wrong. I'm completely wrong. I know it. I know that. I just can't can't make it easy. Have to make it complicated somehow. Like, see, here, uh, here I am thinking back muscles. That's what I'm thinking, back muscles anatomy. And probably if you have a jacket like this one, back muscles anatomy is not something that you should be worrying about. Right now I am worrying about faults in the jacket and hold the jacket folds folds when it moves fast against the wind the air it's not a natural wavy motion that's what i'm thinking and some other artists just just go it goes fast that's it. And everybody understand it. I said me. I don't. I am stupid. Probably. Probably I am the idiot one here.
See, so here I am thinking, if the hand is in this position and in this specific angle, do you see the elbow? Do you get to see it or, or, or you just like see it like very from the side? Almost don't see it. I am thinking that shit. And I think the worst part is that somehow in my in my brain, in my head, I am thinking that another artist is going to realize my mistakes. <laughs> and then I forget very specific thing that you have in your mind all the time when you're doing art. The other artists don't give a shit <laughs> about your art. In fact, probably nobody, that, that would be even better, nobody gives a shit about your art. You're the, the only one who gives a shit about your art until you became someone. In the meantime, you're the only one. You are the only one who gives a shit. So why I am worrying about people figuring it out, figuring out my mistakes. So Nina goes just like boom, like full strength. And maybe this effect, I need to make it a little bit more anime, a little bit more manga. Right now it's, it's just like this. Make it more 3D, give it more like something like this of the time except when I do badass fucking artwork then I am right and I think Nina hitting from a bow directly to your head in a downward what is what is this it's right downward strike Jab, strike, yeah, strike, punch. Or the strike punch to your head. There's a difference, guys, between jab and a strike. Strike, 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 strike is strike. Strike versus jab. Jab. When you're standing in your standard position, let's say that you are right-handed. Hello, hello. Who is who's Rosa Hardy? Hello. No Rosa Hardy. Okay, let's say that you're standing in your standing position, right? 
you are right. You are, you are a right-handed. So if you are right-handed, your right hand goes a little bit back and your left hand goes a little bit forward. And if you do that, if you have your both hands, try to do it with me. If you raise your both hands at the same height, like the fist at your eye level, and then you move one hand in front of the other, you will notice that your chest just move to the side. So you are sideways, you are sideways. You are a smaller target. Believe me, I know that I am a professional. I, I train at mixed martial arts and Muay Thai and Krav Maga for about more than 10 years, okay? So you are kind of sideways and you're looking your opponent through your fist on your right, on your left, left hand. So your left hand is the hand that is closer to your, to your enemy, to your adversary, to the other fighter. So you just extend your left, left hand and that's a jab. It's not super strong, doesn't hit really hard, but it's fast. It's really fast and it's closer to the other guy. So if, if Nina, if Nina uses this hand, it's a, it's a, it's a jab. Doom, doom, doom. The thing with jabs is you can do several jabs really fast, like one, two, three. Yeah. Doom, doom, doom. So you're, what you're doing is testing the, your adversary guard and defense uh, or, or letting him know, hey, raise your hands. Why do you do that? Because everything is a mind game. Everything is a mind game. He raised the hands, you sent a low kick. You sent another low kick, he lowers his hands. You sent a jab, and now he doesn't know where the fuck are you coming from. Okay. But Nina is so fast that she doesn't fucking care. She goes straight at once, boom. So how do you send the straight? You are in the same position. Your your right hand is behind. So in order for you to throw a straight, you have to move your chest and your uh, your feet and your hips and your abdomen and everything. The whole body torques to the other side and your chest ends up looking to the left like her chest her chest is looking there to her left and the left hand goes behind good fighter good fighter doesn't lower the other hand the other hand stays up there she is fast She's strong, but she is not a noob. <laughs> I won't allow her to drop her guard, even though she's kicking us. And it's not because she's aware of it. You are not aware of it when you are fighting. You train so hard and so much, keeping your posture, that when you fight, your posture is automatic. You don't, you don't think about it. So Nina's posture is automatic because she has trained so much, so hard, that when she throws a punch, even though she's kicking ass, she will not lower her guard. And that, my friends, is what a good artist does. Gets into the character. Gets what well, at least a good comic artist does. I am not saying I'm so good. I try to be. I try to be. And I am teaching you what I'm trying with my fucking example. And I'm saying, hey, you guys, you should do this and you should do that. And you should. Where are your comics, Pedro? 
Um, no, no, it's here. It's right here. You can see it. I am doing it at the same time that I am saying how it should be done. Well, it can be done different, differently, obviously. Everything can be done several different ways. And just saying, this is a good way. You get into the character, you study the character, you study what they think, what they feel, and your drawing is going to be better. You are doing martial arts in your comics, and you never have done martial arts? Ah, oh, my friend, I think you need to do something. And get, guess what it is? I need, I think you need to do some martial arts. Go to the closest dojo. Get some training. Do a little bit, at, at, at least, at least, uh, I don't know, one month and a half. One month and a half in a dojo is going to give you a pretty fucking good idea that whatever you were drawing, <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. But how do you know, Pedro, that it's wrong? Because I've been there. I've been there. I've been there in both sides. When I was doing comics about martial arts without the martial arts part in my in my life and doing comics about martial arts with the martial arts part in my life. And it's so, so fucking different that you know when you look at a comic or at an anime, when the artist that is doing the anime and the and the or or the manga have been in a dojo, yes or no, you just know it. You just know it. Of course, Akira Toriyama from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z was in a dojo sometimes in in his life. Of course, the trainings of Master Rochi. You cannot make that shit up. <laughs> you cannot make it. That that's how it sensates. That that's the kind of shit that sensates get you to do. Like I don't know. Let's let's go to the forest. Let's go and make a trip to the forest, guys. And everybody, oh yeah, yeah. Let's go to the forest. So nice, so cool. With all the guys of the dojo, it's so pretty, so nice. And then you realize it's a fucking trap. <laughs> you were going to do some fucking hard ass shit that is going. To, it's not. It's not a trip. It's not a trip. It was torture. Your sensei is there to torture, torture you, and you will pay money to be tortured. You will ask for more because of the results, the fucking results. It's amazing. It's amazing what a trained body can do against an untrained body. Let's say it this way. There is no chance in the fucking world that an untrained person wins against a trained person. There is no chance. No, oh, but Pedro, I have seen this video on YouTube. There is no chance. There is no chance. You you will not convince me. I have seen it every fucking weekend. Because the dojo I wear receive people every weekend. And every weekend people some people came because it was an old school dojo. It was an old school dojo. Think more like fucking the fight club it was dangerous and stupid and people just for their reputation they came to us and challenge us and some people challenge us without training those people that challenge us without training never once never once 
win a single round. Never once. People that have training, so that's a different story. That's something different. And even though people that have training, it was hard because we trained it really hard. So it was, it was not, not, not easy for them. Not easy at all. People without training, <laughs> they fell so fast, so easily, so naive. So when you see an anime or a manga or whatever, a, a North American animation, they're a kind of production comic. And you have the bad guy who has trained for several, I don't know, years or decades and then you got the heroes and the heroes wins because the power of of friendship let me tell you something the creators have never been in a tojo never because the power of friendship doesn't win battles what wins battles is sweat blood and tears in the dojo. Sweat, blood and tears. If you pay your quota of sweat, blood and tears in the dojo, you will have your laughter in the battlefield. And that, my friends, applies to art. How do you think is my back? How do you think is my arm? My left arm and my right arm. They hurt like fucking hell. And those are my tears. Every day here in Costa Rica is fucking hot like summer. But the hum humidity is like 100% every day. So it's fucking hot. Those are my sweat. And I don't I don't have a clue if this comic is going to perform at the level that I wish it's going to perform. I don't know if I will have a following. I don't know anything. Everything is uncertainty. Everything is doubt. Every day, every moment, I am doubting myself, but I'm still going and going. Those are my tears. So this comic is done with blood, sweat, and tears. And I'm going to send it to the battlefield. And I hope that my training is enough, that my discipline is enough, so I will have a laughter in the battlefield. Let's see. Probably I need to train more. Always you need to train more. In your training enough, you have enough skills. That means that you haven't trained enough. <laughs> that means that you haven't done your homework. If you think you're ready, you are not ready.
because the other guy didn't think he was ready and therefore train it harder and harder and harder than you and when he fights against you it's going to be awful mentality of a fighter I don't know how people how artists probably they are really good maybe that's the reason maybe they are really good because I am bad I am bad artist I am a bad artist therefore I need to do my homework and study a lot and and practice a lot and do a lot of exercises and shit uh, because I am bad I am not so good there are artists that are really good they don't do that shit <laughs> and they do really well Here I go again. Other artists will do just just this, and, and 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 the finger is done. But I need to figure it out. What is the direction this finger has? And if she's a vampire and has long nails, how the nail is going to look like? I am like that. That's why I cannot go fast. Okay, remember when I was talking about the stages of the action? So you draw your action in three stages. Basically, most of the time, the stages are the early stage of the action, the mid stage of the action, or when the action has actually happened in the very single second that is happening. And the faster the action, the, the smaller that window is let's say a bullet hits somebody in the chest the bullet goes so fast that the moment it hits it hits the chest is a split of a split second right and the third one is the aftermath after the bullet the guy falls down to the floor um, probably there is a a little pool of blood uh, in the floor next to him because he's he's losing blood right there right so and the first one probably in taking the shot as an example is the other guy aiming aiming the gun of the one that is going to be shot at right so he's aiming the gun is the stage one the early stages or probably is the shot like like the burst and the bullet is is going out of the barrel of the gun and the second one is that split second the bullet enters the body and the last one is the aftermath the guy falls dead maybe okay this one if you make your homework with me represent the number two is the moment the bullet is hitting the body since she's so fast that moment is a split of a second comics are not really good at communicating that that was my idea and it's not 
a recommendation from me to you to base most of your actions into this second stage because it's the harder. And here I am doing it. But I also told you what were like the, I made a mistake. What were like the scenarios in which you, you do that? It's escaping. Ah, one second. Refer to other layers. Ping, yeah, that's it. Okay. So, the second one generally creates pacing, right? Like in this moment, this is happening, this is happening, and something else is going to happen afterwards, right? So that's that's pacing. Uh, so um, the golem is sent flying into the air that is like the first action and then the second action the guy in the air doom is hit it they uh, she hit it right back into the floor again and then this is the aftermath so actually i'm drawing the three stages of the action with this calling so the action was before was more like I don't know this 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 is happening in this frame and then this is happening in this other frame uh, so so all the the movement between frames were more like a comic it's like uh, I'm giving you here some some text to read and some image to see I am giving you here some text to read and some image to see and probably the same here and the same here things were not so connected right but then when the action starts really really intense let's say everything goes like frame by frame like animation like here is the guy uh, saying uh, like making his big entrance and then he starts like camera camera change he starts his uh, i don't know his talk and then boom same frame you can almost animate this shit and then change camera and the other guy goes there is always hope yeah then change camera again boom the guy falls to the ground so you see all the action is been before it was like we are we are standing here and now the, the other guy is running like the, it's not connected but once the action start, everything is so fucking connected. And then the people goes, wow, yeah, this is pacing. This is pacing. And this is a number two. This is not before the people say, wow, yeah, or after they celebrate it is the moment they are celebrating. And this is creating pacing between these two frames. Then Trish raises one of the golem the other guy is still in the floor. Rice is one of the golem. The golem gets hit and then annihilated. See? Everything goes frame by frame, frame by frame. Very detailed. Why? Why, Pedro? Well, because this is an action comic. Didn't I tell you? This is an action comic. You are here watching what? Action. all my rant in previous previous streams about how people like to explain a lot and say a lot in their comics i was not i was not saying that just to say your comics suck i don't think your comics suck i was saying that just to say focus on what you are doing and if you are doing action Focus on the action. If you are doing drama, I will expect, I will expect a lot of drama and explanation and 
and conversations. If you're doing sci-fi, I will I will expect some kind of I don't know technology or incredible views in the space or something like that, a different dimension, a different universe, things different, different things. And so how you explain those things to me throughout uh, the, the comic. I think a very famous show, show Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty, very famous. If you watch Rick and Morty, probably the, the, the first, I don't know, four or, or three, let's say the first two chapters, first two episodes, you didn't know there was a, a council of Ricks and that they have a lot of, like, they have some laws and everything because they mess without, they mess a lot with with the fabrics of the universe because of their, their travels through different uh, multi-universes and all that shit. You didn't know that. They didn't told you that. Do you think that they didn't have a planet? Oh, you're so naive. They have a planet from the first day. But they didn't told you the first day. They were teaching you, te teasing you. I will not do that. I will grab all this. Me, this is dirt. This is this is not clean not clean drawing this is not clean i will take it away put it in another la layer yes as a copy mm -hmm. we'll make it let's make it a different color so i know what i'm basing on okay this is going to be my guidance and I will erase it, erase it. See what? How much did it take? That very little. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy, my friends. Very little time and effort. I'm pretty sure the result is going to be way better because all this not so clean information is going to be removed. So I want this punch to feel very strong. Mm. Don't be so annoying. Okay. And his eye is like, it's like moving. His eye is going to be like this. Like think, think like rapid ape movement, like the pupil, pupil goes. Hello, just one A or Jasia. Is Jasia or just one A? No. Thank you, thank you for saying hi and say hi to the, to the chat. You guys rock. You guys rock. This is a. Is Friday today? I don't know what. Oh, it's already Saturday. Saturday morning. It's already Saturday morning here in Costa Rica. <laughs> I 
already Saturday morning. It's past 12 a.m. Where are you from, guys? Shout, shout it. Shout it in the chat. Want to see, want to know if I am talking to, to people from the U.S. and or people from Wayne. From where, sorry. So see, most of my traces goes upwards because that's what I'm trying to communicate here. Like she goes in with a lot of uh, impetu, a lot of, how do you say? I forgot the word in English. You understand what I meant? I can't, can't hear you very well, what you're drawing. Uh, thank you very much, just, 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 Saya. It is my microphone acting out. I am, I am not talking very loudly because the, it's very late, late here. <laughs> It's very late. I don't want to wake up people with all my rantings. Okay? So, a lot of momentum. She goes with a lot of momentum and hits this guy. And the golem is, 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 a, is one of these guys. And he's metallic. So think you hit something that is going against your momentum okay, and it's metal. So, and her punches are, are charged with electricity. So this sounds like lightning hitting a tower or something like that. What I'm doing, what I'm drawing, I'm drawing my entry for the webtoon canvas contest, call to action contest, is a contest contest that asks artists to create an action web web comic. The, this action web comic is required to have at least one scene where one character fights another, and it. It's required us also to be at least 60 frames long. This that I'm drawing right now is a single frame. So you will need 60 of this. But Pedro, that's a fucking lot of job, of work. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fucking lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot. You need to be a no-lifer like myself. Everybody in Costa Rica is going out and party because it was Friday night a couple of hours ago. And I am here working my ass off doing this. <laughs> but it, it looks cool. Don't you think, don't you think this does look good? Cool? Lot of effort. Oh yeah, lot of effort. And this one, this comic is 90, 90, <laughs> 90 frames. And this frame was 50. This is the 49, 49. So it's, it's we are past mid. Thank you very much, Jasaya. I'm going to talk to, to to name you Yasaya because I think it's what you meant. It's called Six Units Realms Reject. You can see it in the screen, I think. It says Six Units Realms Reject by Carlos Orozco. It's a scriptwriter, Pedro Lara. That's myself. And it's soon, soon going to be on Webtoon Canvas. 
This contest will open on June, from June to July. So I'm going to leave it in the chat so you guys, for if you don't see it somehow, maybe I am doing something wrong. Trans rejects. It's units trans reject. You can see my other webtoon comic if you want. I don't know what are the policies. If you if you can send, can you send a URL here? Does this work? That's my webtoon. The other one is a supernatural thriller. Not a lot of action. All the action is mental. <laughs> All the action is your brain going like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what, Pedro? What the fuck is happening? What did you eat? No, it's, it's not so crazy. It's not so crazy. You will see it and you'll say like, this is normal people talking like normal people. There's nothing wrong happening here. But then then suddenly you're like, what the hell is happening here? Okay. So what, what I wanted to, to communicate here is it's not that, that she breaks him, but that he goes like, like a lot of movement. And like you can see like one eye here, one high eye here, one eye here. Probably that's the way to draw it. Like if if the drawing is being drawn like like three times in three different angles at the same time, something like this, and then goes here, and then goes here, and then goes like here. See, so it's it's like I am drawing his contour three times, something like that, and then it goes like like this. I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, I will draw it again. Like reverberation. Josiah, I need you here. I need you here every day. <laughs> Why are you not here every day? You're like completing my lack of knowledge of the English language. <laughs> because I suck. But you don't suck, my friend. Uh, I was starting to ask the shit. Oh, no. I forgot. Everything is going to be dark red in a few seconds. I think this is a magic trick. <laughs> it's getting a stock. And boom, everything is, <laughs> is dark red. I forgot that this is not close. This is not close. I have to close it myself. I have to close it. The field is going to uh, escape. Okay, now, now it's not everything dark red. Those guys, which guys like the characters in this comic, or you are watching another guys? Sorry if I don't answer really quick to your questions. I really want it, but my face is like against this tablet. You can hear it. 
and the monitor where the chats are. Ah, the one eye guys. Okay, yeah. These golems, some iron golems. And the chat is in another monitor, so I need to raise my head and see your your comments. And if I am drawing, I don't see them. I'm going to show you a very badass scene. Okay. Is this one? The biggest of the golems was guarding. This is before. Was guarding the plaza. There's a lot of zombies. They already took control of the plaza. In fact, you can see like over here, if you see my my mouse, I'm going to use probably this hand. It's easier to see. There you can see they have some hostages even in very small detail. Very small detail. So this guy is like super big. I think he's twice as big as the other and the, the other guys that you see. And then something that you haven't seen because you don't have zoom, <laughs> but there is a dot over here. You can see it. So the next frame zooms in into that dot and is the fucking sniper. And that sniper is like twice the size of a real human being. So this rifle is the size of a human being. And the bullets are armor piercing through a tank. And he goes, bam! <laughs> and blows the head of those cool guys. One of those cool guys. Really cool scene. And then we move into another scene and some other shit happens. But... The, the, the sniper was still there, right? So when the other shit happens, uh, some laser, automatic laser defenses from the city start shooting, and then the zombies are like, oh, what, we are being shot, and the hostages are like, yeah, they are going to help us. At least we have, there is hope. And then our heroes are wondering like, we uh, should we now go and kick some ass and and one of the guys is like i'm not i'm not waiting for you guys i'm going to kick ass right now and in the next frame he is kicking some serious ass because he's a badass so he's like all neo uh, jumping and, and and hitting and killing all the zombies and and then the other guys start also kicking ass with him more kicking ass with with him with the guy with the guns handguns and then a laughter is heard somebody's laughing and the people around the plaza the hostages go like oh no oh my god and, and you can see that they know who are who is laughing so this guy is laughing and this guy is like the big body. And he says, our champion is soon to enter your realm. But if you if you if you have eyes <laughs> and you if you pay attention, this building in the background you have seen before. That's where the sniper is. They haven't taken care of the sniper. <laughs> They're very noob. So the guy goes. There is no hope for boom. <laughs> the sniper was still there. And the guy goes, there's always hope. And he falls to the ground. So this this was a bluff. This was a bluff. I, I here with the drawing and with everything, I am telling you, this is the real bad guy. And then I'm telling you, no, I was kidding. This is not the real bad guy. And these golems are so badass. And, and actually, they start to destroying the golems. And, and I'm, what I'm saying here is, no, I was kidding. These, these golems are not so badass. So one of the golems just tried to escape because they are like murdering the other golem. And the guy that received the bullet to the head 
uh, it was explained by me uh, in other streams that he is not actually human. You can see his hand is weird. He has like weird dimensions. He is not human. You cannot kill him with regular bullets. And the guy grabs the golem by its feet and then starts a transformation. It's like a merge between this guy, the one that was hit in the head, and one of those golems. So the real bad guy, the real menace that they are going to fight against is like a merge between one of a merge between these two that you're going to see it probably tomorrow <laughs> because i don't I, I don't think i'm going to be ready all these frames uh, today tomorrow But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for for uh, came by and say hello and give your regards and say what you think about this comic. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I think the script writer is really good. I think the script writer knows what the fuck he's doing. He knows how to manage your expectations as a as a reader, like like to make some kind of like a, what what is the name of this rides like a carousel. <laughs> Oh, I forgot the name of those those things. Help me, Josiah. What's the name? There is a lot of those in Disney, in parks. Uh, you jump into that, it goes into tracks, and it's like a mountain. It's like something right. Merry go round, no, merry go round, no. The other ones, the, the ones that are really big, really big, like you go up and down, and some hands, some of those have loops and is on tracks and go really fast. Some of those when you you go up really slow, get to the highest point and then go down super fast. What's the name of those? Roller coaster, exactly. Like a roller coaster. You know, in Spanish, it it you will you will laughter. What's the name in Spanish? I will tell you in English the name in Spanish, or at least in Costa Rica. The name in Costa Rica for roller coaster is Russian Mountain. <laughs> Russian mountain. That doesn't make any sense. This is why I didn't didn't remember the name because it's so fucking different. Okay, so the guy is really good to make like a roller coaster of, out of your expectations, right? He was like, I will show you the bad guy, and then I'm going to kill the bad guy. Like, I'm going to show you this. Where was it? This super huge big golem, and I'm going to one hit kill him <laughs> in front of you. So you're like, okay, but these guys are overpowered. They're, these guys are OP. And, and that's the whole thing that, uh, through the whole comic. Th these guys are fucking OP, the whole comic. So when these guys start fighting and start beating, beating them, you're going to think, no, this guy is now is really strong. Now he is really strong. This is how you manage, like, how, 
how your your audience feels about your comic. You don't just go and say, this guy is super strong, everybody fears him, and, and, and make a lot of text of your character saying that the guy is strong and everybody fears him because he's strong. I don't believe you. I don't believe you as a reader. I want to see it. I want to see the guy being fucking badass. If I see the guy being fucking badass, it's worth more than 1,000 words. Show me. It's like Morpheus when Neo says, I know Kung Fu. The first thing Neo says, sorry, Morpheus says, is show me. Tell me if that it's not a fucking great scene because they show you, <laughs> they show you, they and, and, and they they make like this scene when one of, one of the guys goes like into the I don't know what like the dining dining room they have in in the ship and he's like Morpheus is fighting Neo and everybody runs and go and see it. Because, and, and we are excited too as an audience because we know we are going to be sh being shown some action. Show the action. Show the action. So here I'm doing like a chrome some kind of chrome chrome or, or reflective surface. The way to do that is do not touch the lines. Do not touch the outside lines. He ho see how nothing touches? Like every of these, like uh, these shapes that I'm doing that are so random, is what these shapes are telling to your brain because everything is an illusion here, is that these are reflections of his surrounding. But I am not, not touching anything. I am leaving like a, a white space around these lines. Because that's how uh, reflected surfaces work. They are like, they have like a shiny uh, co contour around them then start reflecting real, like, compress the image, especially if, if it's like a tooth or, or, or if, it, if it's rounded, right? So if it's rounded, it starts, like, really, really tight, 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 and then starts to lose up when it comes from forward. <laughs> Short stories are really good. Short stories are really good to start. Well, some some people just don't don't start a short story. They they just do short stories, and, and they are really good at it. If you mar if you master the short story, you can do a long story. The long story is just a a group of short stories put, put together. If you stay here with me, I will teach you, teach you how to draw. It's not easy. It's a lot of fucking work. You will learn, you will learn. Because I am telling you everything I know while I draw it. Some people make of a tea, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 the texture. That's the texture that I am trying to channel here. Exactly that. It's so memorable, so memorable. I think this is done. Oh no. Well, 
the character is done. I think it's done. I am not going to render it too much because after this, colors are going to kick in and colors is another level of, of detail. I need to do these lines, but I am going to be lazy as MF. What happened? <laughs> ah, okay. Oh. I did it on the wrong angle there. And there is, it's another one. What is the one that make it large? I did this. Oh, I think it's this one. This one is the one that says, and this one is the one that says the direction. Exactly. See, this one is the say the one that says how large it is. This is Clip Studio Paint. If you don't have Clip Studio Paint and you are doing comics, let me tell you, my friend. You're making a mistake. <laughs> I, I talk about it in the in the stream. Uh, I'm proud of my hands and my feet drawing because a lot of artists artists uh, shy away from doing it, and I am not. I, I try not to do it. I try not to shy away from from hands and feet. In fact, I try to draw hands and feet as much as I can to show you that there is nothing to fear about it. It's just shapes. It's, it's, everything is just shapes. You learn how to do the shape in a 3D space that's everything that's everything you need to know that's it and a lot of these drawings i'm not going to fool you a lot of the, these drawings i did 3d i did 3d uh, figures before it because i don't want it's not that i didn't want is because i didn't have time here in the stream they they have seen me doing uh, bodies with full anatomy and everything just out of the blue. So I, I know how to do that. But to avoid time waste, because I don't have too much time before the delivery date of this comic, I use it a lot of 3D assets uh, for this. So the feet and the contours and the angles and the a lot of a lot of shit around the anatomy is already there, but a lot of shit around the anatomy also is not there. So you still need to do your homework. You still need to to how, how can I say uh, make your practice, make your 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 drawings and everything. Uh, without the 3D, so when you do the 3D, uh, it looks it looks badass. Okay, so I am just here with a mask erasing the lines that I don't need. It's very easy, you just make a mask and use the lasso, uh, surrounds with the lasso, whatever you don't want, and hit delete, it's super easy. If I give you a story, could you draw it from the description I gave? That's that's the way I do comics. The the scriptwriter writes the the scene. In fact, what what is coming here? One second. 
I think it, it just says Nina Nina hits hits him in the air, something like that. It's, it's the only thing that it says. One second. One second. Yeah, it says, it's just say Nina is already getting ready to smash in with her power gloves. So nothing else. And I create everything here. Let me go back to chat and see if you have say anything. Okay, no. So it, it just says Nina, hit, uh, uh, Nina hits him with her, his power gloves. That's all. So it's, there's not like a description of, on how hits him, um, at what angle, what's the camera, if the frame is long, is short, is wide, nothing. It's, it doesn't say anything. Everything I I made it. Okay, I think I needed I need I need a couple of things here. But if you meant by that question that if you have a script that you want me to draw for yourself that is another thing my friend <laughs> that is another thing uh, i would love to i would love to do that but i don't think i have time i just i just don't have time another guy asked me asked me the same question the other day and I, I could not I could not compromise myself to help you out with your script because I can barely barely make it out with mine <laughs> with my own script I can barely barely do it this is effects effects making the layer color so I know what layer I'm working on this is not the final colors, but I know this layer, what this layer is about. So this layer is going to... It's the electricity from her power gloves. Could you do five frames for me if I pay you? I could, I could, if, if you are patient, if you're, if you are patient and if you, I don't know, uh, have means, not money, not, not, I am not asking for money, it's, it's because I just, yeah, so you can be patient. Yeah, that's that's great. That's great. It's because I live in Costa Rica, so there 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 should be like a means to get me paid. Like I have, I am requesting right now a like a debit card that uses some kind of virtual bank account. It's called Pioneer. It's super legal. It's super legal. It's called Pioneer, and Pioneer, uh, I can give you a bank account number, I think, from US, and then you can make the, the, the transfer. You can transfer the money, and I can see it uh, immediately that the money has been transferred. Then Pioneer is going to transfer that money to my account in Costa Rica. Uh, But yeah, I think it's not you, the one that doesn't have the means, it's me, the one that doesn't have the means to receive your money yet. But I will probably next week, probably next week. 
what you can do right now if you want without any compromise from myself is send me your script your your five frames or probably i don't know this that's five frames is the first page maybe or is a middle page i would like to know what's before and what's after so i know i get like a ballpark idea what i am drawing um, the email is on my social networks but here it is that's my email that's my public email like everybody can see it if they go to my I think YouTube or if they go to my uh, Instagram uh, so you can send me your script in fact don't send me just your script send me your drawings I want to see your drawings and I will let you know what what do I think probably if you send me your email and your email says I don't know I don't know Anthony I don't know who the hell is Anthony I know yes yes I am. <laughs> So let me know that also, please. Hey, Josiah here from your from your stream last night, something like that. And, and send me send me some of your artwork. I want to see it and let you know what I think that you can work on in uh, in the future to make you a little bit better. You don't get better fast. Nobody does. Nobody does get better fast. There is only one way to get better fast is practice a lot often. And for you, it's going not to be fast. For you, it's going to be like, man, this is taking days, days, months. But for the people that doesn't know you, my cover photo is Josiah's logo. Did you send it already? Did you send it? Josiah is following me. No, how you haven't. Okay. But if you keep drawing, you keep drawing, you keep practicing, and the people will see you in two or three months and they're going to go, what the hell, Josiah, what the fuck? How do you get so good so fast? For them, it's going to be fast. For you, it's, it's a fucking grind. It's a fucking grind. It's, it's, it's an RPG of 300 hours <laughs> that you were playing. 300 hours of RPG. But how many RPGs have you played? Oh, Twitch, uh, can I say, can I see that? Josiah, and I see like some figures like green color and yellow and blue and red and orange and a sign, symbol, sign ball, a sign that is like a triangle, like an M connected everything. So probably I will remember. No, now I don't know how to close it. <laughs> One second. I think I opened your profile. Ah, what I opened is the whole conversation between you and me. That's what I opened it. It's the logo. Okay, okay, the logo of the character. Yeah. That logo needs meat that logo needs meat let's say that the logo is something it's a very peculiar peculiar shape i think it's a star one two three four five six 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 spike stars star so it goes here and then goes here 
then goes here, then goes here, then goes here, then goes here. So what you need to do is this needs to have meat to it. It's a symbol, isn't it? Like the bat signal. So it needs to have depth and volume to it. It needs to be 3D shape. That's what you want from this. See what I'm doing here? A 3D shape. And if it's in the chest of your character, then maybe draw the chest over here. Something like this. But Pedro, I don't know how to draw chests. It's because you haven't practiced your anatomy. Have you practiced your anatomy as of late? No? Then go do it. Go practice your anatomy. Yes. Let's look for pictures of just men <laughs> on the internet. I am not I am not going to be responsible of the results of your search. Just search for male chests, muscles, and draw the fuck you see there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I why I'm saying that I, I, I'm not saying this because is this that I am saying is wrong at all. I don't think anything is wrong. I think everything can work if you give it the proper treatment. And I was for many years, for many years, Jasaya, I was a graphic designer and uh, working in graphic design. I work doing logos. I work doing logos for companies. Uh, I work uh, manipulating logos from other companies, like working on their campaigns, campaigns for famous companies like Disney, WWF, Calvin Klein, Nintendo, Sony. For some time, if you have a PS, a PlayStation, I think it was in the PlayStation 3 era, the newsletter of PlayStation for North America, uh, the email, I was the one doing that code. <laughs> I, I received myself the email that I worked like a week before. I remember that. So yeah, I, I know a little bit, I know a little bit of marketing and the treatment of of the what can I say, the, the logos and symbols and all that stuff. That that graphic treatment. So if you if you if your starting idea is something that goes like this, it's okay, but it's it looks like an idea. You need to make it more bold. Let me give you an example. The idea for these comics is is six unit, isn't it? It's, that's that's the name, six unit. So I have to create the logo. Okay. And it's not something like amazing. It's just a normal logo. A normal logo. It's loading. It's loading. Wait for me. Wait. <laughs> there, there it is. But it's, it's it's just not just the text. It's not just six units. It has a border around it. It has some texture in the numbers. It has some glow into the dark, and at the end has like a spike. I, I modified the letters a little bit and I then uh, add the subtitle and first the writer and then the artist. So it's, it's nothing super special. You don't have to do something out of this world, but at least it, look, it, it looks like you gave it 
couple of hours. A couple of hours doing it. Just, just that. That people feel that you are, you are giving them a little bit of your time. That's all. Okay. Yes, and this color sucks. Oh, how can I change the color? Josiah, the song of man. The song, like like the song, the start, or the song, like the the children of. It's like the star of man. But what does that means with the 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 song of man? Mm. It's a superhero comic because I was I was I was talking shit about your logo and I didn't ask you because it may not be a superhero. The song of man, yeah, it, it's because ah, you change it. It is religious. It is religious oriented. Well, Jesus was the first hero, if you ask me. If you ask me what I think, it's he is a hero. Actually, he is the definition of a hero. Hero is the son of a god with a human. I change it is a star, yeah. So it's the son of man, yeah. So you're playing with the with the mythos of the religious mythos. But yeah, if you ask me, Jesus is the definition of a hero by the book definition of a hero. Um, so she hits him like metallic. Like a metallic tooth. I'm not sure if this color is an M and a star. Yeah, I I I, I thought it was a star when I saw it. So I think you got that right. You got that right. It it feels like a star. It feels like the symbol you are showing me is a star. So you are on the good path there. I just think it it needs a little bit more of work towards the presentation. I think the idea is is about right. What else? M for man and, and the star for the sun. Yeah. I think it's good. It's good. It's good con uh, concept. The way you conceptualize the name, it's, it works. So the guy it's a man that came came from the star from a star we all came from the stars don't you know we are a star stardust made of a stardust what is this ledger what is this ledger about ah i see what is the, what is this ledger i don't need it right now Where is the 
What is the layer? What's this layer? Okay. Now I think it's done. It's done. What do you think of this frame? Does does it look bad? Does it look bad as? Illuman. So the idea is he has, sorry, I wasn't reading. So the idea is he has a lot of powers. Superman has. And is a photosynthetic being. An Illuman, okay? If I trap him on a, on a basement, he start losing his powers until he's weak and I can kill him. I'm thinking like a villain. <laughs> Design the villains, not the heroes. Design the villains. And no, of course you have to design the heroes, but the villains are super important. Okay, I think I can work on this one because it's super easy, super fast. Tell me about, this is fun. This is fun. I am supposed to entertain you but you have been very entertaining, Josiah. If I am talking with a 12-year-old or a 40-year-old, I don't know if I am talking to a, to a guy or, or of a woman. If you trap him in the dark, it becomes like a stone. Like a stone. So once he is a stone, I can break him like a stone and destroy him. Does he regens after a stone stage? Like if the stone receives some sunlight again. So this this is like a vampire. So you are you are making like a counter vampire or like an anti vampire because vampires lives in the dark. But your guy needs the song, is it? Well, he's photosynthetic. So he, he's a, yes, he's a reverse vampire. But he, if he's a reverse vampire, he should have the reverse blood. What would be the reverse blood? Maybe he absorb the life out of out of people. Not just the blood, it's like the, the, the life energy. Wow, it's a complicated character what you're doing there. <laughs> He's a complicated guy. He has a lot of rules and regulations. He has a lot of checks that he has to mark before going to bed. Okay. My advice for you is the advice that I've been telling in previous streams is don't tell me all those details in the, in the script, in the comic, in the episodes. Tell me the uh, one by one. Maybe, maybe the first thing you do is him drinking blood in the night. Yeah. So everybody's like, oh, this is a vampire. He's drinking blood. And then the next thing you do is him walking in the sunshine. Like nothing happened. Probably having a tan in the beach or something like that. So people is like, so whoa, whoa, wait a second. This is not a vampire. Vampires don't go to the beach. Vampire doesn't have a tongue. Vampires, this and that and this and that. And you're creating some weird expectations in people because now people is like, okay, then then what what is this guy? What's next? I wanna I wanna see what's next. But if you start the comic with a text that says, uh, Illuman are people that lives under these rules and these rules and these rules and these rules, then you have to tell me everything that I wanted to know. Now, two things happens. 
I am tired because you you sent me to read a lot of shit that I don't care about yet, but I don't care at that point. And two, I already know everything and you have already told me everything. So what is going to be your chapter about? And let me tell you what I have seen. Your, cha your chapter is about some a lot of meaningless shit because all the meaningful shit you already told me in the first uh, frames. So don't do that. Don't waste those bullets. Those bullets are golden bullets that you have created, right? You have created a, a lot of rules, a, a lot of regulations that he has to that he has to live with. He a lot of lore behind him. So send me bits of that lore. Uh, since, uh, okay, but I but I'm giving you ideas. Yeah, S uh, give me uh, uh, feed me bits of that lore one episode at a time at a time so let's say you have three rules uh, he needs the song he needs to drink blood and he uh, and another thing that i don't remember uh, so he don't he won't turn it to stone i don't know so so the so the the first rule Tell me about the first rule in the in the probably the, the third thing is not the rule is the course or is the superpower. So the guy is drinking blood. Tell me just that and how he needs to drink blood every day. I need to drink blood every day, blah 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 blah. And make a story about it. And maybe maybe he drank blood yesterday, and yesterday he wasn't being able to. And he was sent to the desert. And he's in this desert. He has a lot of a lot of a song around him, but there is not too much blood in the desert. Only your own. So he's in trouble. He's in trouble and he needs to resolve this shit. Yeah. So give me give me that uh, that kind of dilemma. So don't make don't make him OP at the beginning. Yeah, to make him OP at the beginning, but at the beginning, because at the beginning he 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 can just fly away from the from the desert, from the desert, he just fly away back into the city. No, no, make him fly. I don't know, in the fifth, in the sixth episode. Maybe he is younger. Maybe he is like an adolescent, a teenager, and he is discovering his powers. He's just, he's discovering his real self. So he don't knows he can fly, so he can he has to figure it out. Maybe he has he he finds somebody in the desert. Somebody helps him, and it's a good person that helps him, and he is in this dilemma. This person is the only thing that is uh, uh, preventing me from turning into stone if I drink his blood. But he is helping me, and he is a good guy. So. I am willing to kill this good guy. Maybe he can give me some of his blood if I tell him, but I don't know he's going how, how he's going to react. And so you, you need to deal with all that sh those shit in, in the script. And it doesn't seem like a lot of action, right? Right now. So maybe make, make it an action. Maybe he finds a an enemy in the desert. And now after after killing the enemy, now he has his blood, so he can survive another day. So that will be one way to show this curse, this this blood curse, this blood blood slash stone curse. And in another chapter, we we may talk more about other things. But but I would give you this advice in another in, in another chapter or, or at the end of this first chapter. I want to see a bad a badass enemy. A fucking badass enemy. One that you say, oh this guy is so cool. No, it's not easy. <laughs>
what is what is your antithesis? Antithesis is what I'm talking about. No, I need my antithesis. Antithesis is it will be the the counterpart to this guy. What is going to be he facing against the badass enemy? Is what you mean with that? Yeah, you need your villains. So think about it in that universe with with the, but there 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 is one easy way to do it. There is the easy and lazy way, which is the Marvel way, the Marvel movies way, is the easy and lame way. But it's the Marvel movies movies and it works. So it may work for you. It, it may work for a lot of people. And as I, as I told you, everything works. It just needs the proper presentation, the proper way of doing it. But Pedro, what is the Marvel way? I don't know. Oh, you know, my friend. The Marvel way is, let's make it the same as the hero. <laughs> what does Iron Man fight in the first movie? Another Iron Man, a gray one. And Iron Man is red. What does Thor fight? Like his brother, he, which is an Asgardian too. Another god. Uh, and so on and so on. The first movie of uh, Hulk, the one that was in Ruffalo, was uh, Edward Norton. What does that Hulk fight against another Hulk, <laughs> just different skin. So I need him to have a blood rage where he goes OP and can look, look people in the eyes and make them do things. Oh, that's a power. Yeah, but make him earn it. Make him fight for it. Make him suffer for it. I don't want everything in a plate. That is boring. Make him fight for him, for it, for that power. Make him sacrifice something that he wants and he lives and he loves for that power. So when he uses that power, it doesn't come, come as easy because your character starts sounding like a billion to me. Maybe, maybe you don't need your villains. Be, be lines. I don't know how to say that word. Maybe the, you don't need your enemies. Maybe you're, you need your heroes. Because that guy is a start to sound to me like a bad guy. Oh, Pedro, it's because I want to make an anti-hero. Everybody wants to make an anti-hero. Make a good hero. So I think maybe your your maybe the enemy is this guy. If you tell me that this guy is in my universe, I will think he is the enemy. Yeah, but this, those, uh, what was the name? Illuminis? 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 Sorry if I forget. You are making a lot, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And, 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 but it was like Illumini, the name. He's not the only Ill 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 Illumans. He's not the only Illuman in the universe, or is it? It's not like Superman. You're not making a copy of Superman. There are more like him. So maybe if he is the hero, he can use those powers, but he's not going to use it uh, sparingly because he knows that those are very harmful powers for the people, like drinking their blood, uh, making make them do whatever he wants. It sound, he's starting to sound like a villain to me. But maybe there are another guy like him. Here, 
him that she doesn't care about doing using those powers. Maybe I can have my vampire guy taking away the blood. I think your Illumin, Illumin, Illuman has a lot of shit going on. Maybe you can split it into two characters. I can just think what happens if. Think of this. Yasaya, ah, Yasaya, maybe sounds like a, like a messiah. I don't want to be a billion at all. He's to Jesus for me. Yeah, yeah, Yasaya sounds like a messiah. Yeah. Okay, so think of this. Maybe he's the song aspect, and the other guy or the other girl, maybe. I I like badass woman. Like like Nina. I I like badass woman character, and she's a vampire, by the way. Uh, maybe the 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 counterpart is 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 the is the moon aspect. So you have the sun aspect, and then you have the moon aspect. And try to keep try to keep the the Messiah part and the and the Jesus correlation. Yeah, that that would be that would be interesting. But try to keep that part and the, the Jesus and the and the like the religion correlation. Try to keep it hush hush for a while, or don't don't make it on 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 your nose. It is the same. It's the same that that I'm saying before. Is is don't, don't don't tell me everything, uh, right on. Save save those caveats for later on. Later on, yeah. Like if if you tell me right now, Pedro, I'm going to show you a comic based on Jesus. I may say pass, <laughs> right? I don't want to see a comic based on Jesus right now. I wanna I wanna see rock and roll. But if you tell me, I'm going to give you rock and roll, and you don't know that I'm giving you Jesus. <laughs> you don't know. And I say, wow, this is this is good rock and roll, man. This is this is good rock, man. And I start to look at the lyrics, and I'm like, hmm, I think this rock is about Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know I like it. I didn't know Jesus were so cool, right? You don't have to. You don't have to tell me. Like the guy that made made King of Thrones, the map of the world that he did is just England, England upside down. He just grabbed England and put it upside down, and he didn't say never, never. I'm just using England upside down. That's what I'm saying. What I'm doing. It didn't reveal his secrets. It didn't reveal reveal. What's the source material or, or his inspiration? He is not revealing it, right? So don't reveal your source material, your inspiration. Just tell me the story you want to tell. Um, and the guy is like a messiah. Okay, that's 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 good. There's a lot of stories like that, like Luke Skywalker. It's like a messiah character. But they don't go saying, oh, look, Skywalker is based on, on Jesus. But he's based on Jesus. See? That is that is concept, conceptualization, and concept art. In concept art, like these guys, like this, you, you like you hit it right, right in the, the nail. This this look like the Terminator, exactly. That's that's where my inspiration came from when I did the, the guys. But I'm not telling anybody here in the or I'm not making like a direct 
direct references to the Terminator in the comic because I don't want people to know that, that, that it was just so simple and so easy. They're going to say, ah, oh, that's so simple, that's so easy. What he's doing, simple shit. No, it's not simple. It's, it's actually really hard. And it's harder to hide it. I hope that this lot of shit that I'm saying is going to help you in some regard. I really want you to great to make and to create great stories. I really do. I think we need more great stories. We need more of those. More creators, creators like you that are ballsy. Because if you ask me, Pedro, do you want to make a story about Jesus? I think, oh man, that's ballsy. Like, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I, if I can make it good. It's like too much of a challenge for me. But you're taking that challenge. So you're badass. You're badass. So what will be your age about? Don't tell me your exact age if you don't want, but you can tell me mid thirties, mid twenties, something like that. Like a range if you want to. Just to, to have a little picture in my head. Because I don't know if I'm talking to, to a 60 year old, I don't know. Maybe I should tell you, sir. And I am being disres disrespectful. <laughs> late 20s. Okay, late 20s. Now I know. Now I know what's your, your state of mind right now. Late 20s. Something is going to happen with your brain soon. Something very important is going to happen to your brain soon. Human brains doesn't evolve, it doesn't mature. The same after bodies. We have the front lobe, this is the name. Like, this is the brain. This is the head, and like this is the eyes, the nose, right? And this part of the brain is the newest part and is the most evolved part. This part doesn't fully mature until, and this is science, this is science. I am not saying this. Doctors know this until 30s, until you hit 30s, this part doesn't mature. And what does that part does, Pedro? This part controls your emotions and your emotion, emo, emotional, emotional decisions. Decisions. I don't know how to, to write decisions, but you're hearing me, right? Your emotional decisions. And that is so super fucking important because we, until we are 30, we have full control of our emotional decisions. And there is a lot of shit that they ask us. A lot of decisions that they ask us to make that are very emotional in our 20s. Like our career. Like how you handle your first job. Of how, you how you handle your, your first encounters uh, working in an environment with a lot of people, with with women, with men, I don't know. 
everything is so emotional, everything is so difficult, and you don't have a brain ready for that. And I think that is something that our society has to acknowledge that we are giving young people because by today's standards, if you are under 30, you are still young. A lot of decision making and we are not giving them the proper tools to make those decisions because we have not, not acknowledged as a society that our brain is not mature enough at that age. People think they are, but they are not. And if you ask somebody, anybody, that is like a myth theories, myth theories. What do you think of your about your former self? Like when you were 20 something, and the great majority will say that guy was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I say it, I say it, Pedro, Pedro in, in 20s was, was really, he was really stupid. He did some stupid shit. Not everybody, but a, a great deal of people will say that. And that's because that guy was making a lot of stupid decisions because his front lobe uh, of his brain, his frontal lobe wasn't mature enough. So if you are in the mid, in the late twenties, you're going to arrive to that maturity very soon. And something happens. It's, it's like a click. You, you sing, you, you feel like, like all the cloudiness in your, in your man, in your mind, uh, dissipate. And from one moment to the other, you're like thinking clear, like the voice in your head shuts down a little, it's, it's, it stops screaming, it stops saying that everybody's wrong. And it starts saying something really important. It starts saying, maybe I am wrong. <laughs> and listen to that voice. And that, and why, why I'm saying all that shit? Pedro, you're lecturing me. This is such. You're so boring, man. Why, why are you lecturing me? I didn't came for a lecture here. No, I'm saying that because I think that is going to help you create better scripts. All that clarity is going to help you create better scripts, create better balance, create a better hero, create better background. Everything seems so cloudy right now. Is your is your brain? It's, it's so full of emotions and, and it's hard to make a decision. And everything is so emotional about your comic, is your creation. And, and, and you tell me that when you describe uh, Josiah, it wasn't emotional. You say it's like, the, like a messiah for me. A messiah is, 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 is something very emotional as a description. So everything is so emotional right now with your characters. I know, I know I've been there. And then there was like this moment where I was like, I'm going to analyze my characters, not from this emotional state of mind, but very analytic. I'm going to be very analytic with my characters. And those characters fucking evolve, fucking evolve. They, they went like from, from shadows, in the in a wall like to real fucking people with, with with mistakes with errors and that's what define a good character I don't know what else can I tell you I don't want to feel like, actually, like, like I was lecturing you. I don't want you to feel that. <sighs> so 
to see the chrome the chrome parts doesn't touch the end never and that's what made them look very chromey it's, it's easy trick easy trick practice this maybe you can implement some chrome uh, aspects into your characters or your character creation and chrome if you ask me so fucking badass texture fucking badass texture to to dominate to have in your repertoire of textures that you can say i can do good chrome texture it looks good it looks badass to draw this guy fast Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The... You don't have to. You don't have to be analytical. I am. I am just that kind of person. I am super analytical. Super analytical. And, but you don't have to. But I will tell you something. That may give you. I don't know, like some kind of idea of what I am talking about. If you see the greatest writers in the history, most of them were all people already. Why is that? Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? When I was in in college, university, I was studying architecture and I was the first the first uh, in my class I was the first in this in the in the university when I was in the, in the first year right I was the number one because my drawings were excellent I was the best the best one at, at drawing and I, I I have all the knowledge about design and I had such a leg uh, ahead from all the other students that were on first year. So I saw that I was like a prodigious architect, <laughs> obviously. And and then I, I asked the professors if there were any architect that became famous really young in history. And they say, none. At least you need to be at least in your forties before you make something that is worth a while. If you are an architect, modern, modern architect, because we can talk about Da Vinci and Michelangelo, but those were like exceptional human beings that has never been repeated again in the human history, probably. So. And, and they cannot explain to me why, why you need to be past your forties before you can be, make something worth in architecture. But now I know why. And I am past forties, <laughs> but now I understand why. This architecture is so complex. It's, it's very complex and it needs a lot of analytical and problem solving. And, and that shit, you cannot do it in your mid-20s. It, it's, it's just, you're going against the river, against the flow, if you're doing that. You are like, a, I don't know, an Asperger or something like that, if you can do that. If you're a normal human being, it's very difficult. Now I understand. That's one thing. And the other thing is you, you don't have to be analytical to be successful. There are many, many artists that are very emotional and they, what they do, what they do, and this is what I think you may want to do eventually, is they channel their emotions. Channel your emotions. 
So, uh, in, in a certain way, they are analytical with their emotions. Like they, they go, okay, I need to channel my emotion. I know I am feeling this angst. Why I'm feeling this, uh, I don't know, anger. So I am not going just to uh, rip out the paper that I was writing the script on. I'm going to use this anger and I'm going to use this angst. I'm not going to rip the paper. I'm going to explore what I'm feeling and explore it with my characters. And my characters are going to feel the anger. I'm going to feel the angst that I am feeling right now. And you don't know, you don't have to be analytical. Uh, one second uh, to, to, to finish this talk. You don't have to be analytical. You have to be honest with your feelings. You have to be honest with your audience too. If you're if if you are honest, honesty pays really well in art. Okay, a rose, a rose out of the concrete, is hair red like a fire and eyes like lighting. He smiled. He is somebody seeing the rose. He smiled, smiled, knowing the fear in his enemies. In, in his enemy's heart. The rose, he is the rose. And eyes like a light in his mind, no, the fear in his enemy's heart. Rose a rose. And he is the rose or somebody looking at the rose. Hey, Josiah, you're opening up in here, man. <laughs> you're opening up, opening, opening up your feelings. So, yeah, I believe you. Because a person like me, that is very analytical, will think like 100 times before writing some test writing on a public chat. I will be very hesitant. So it, you need a lot, of, a lot of balls to do that. They're very ballsy. Very ballsy. So, yeah, he is like a rose in a uh, he's reborn out of, out of the concrete. So the rose, the rose is something. See, this is me being analytical. The rose is something soft and it's something alive. The concrete is something that is dead and it's, it's, it's something hard. So there is a juxtaposition of ideas there where the soft is overcoming the hard. And it, it, it seems that like somehow the rose arose from the concrete it, it keeps me not the idea of rebirth, but the idea of birth. So I need the rebirth section. You may say, I am saying, I, I am telling you that it's a rebirth because he's, he's seeing his enemies. So what I'm telling you is the aftermath of a story, right? His enemies conquered him, or they, they thought, but he rebirthed. So yeah, yeah, you are you are right, but also you can see that that I have a little bit of trouble figuring that out. So I need I need to know you can use just a single word to tell me that it's not a birth, it's not some something that is 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 seeing the light for the first time, but it's a rebirth. Is something that is 
seeing the light again. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, it's my second language. I speak Spanish. Yo hablo español. Of course, it's my second language. But if you make me understand that, you will make me understand everybody. So I think the revert part is the part that is a little bit sketchy there. So an eyes like lightning, his smile knowingly, his reborn, his eye as sharp, his enemies fear him. You can tell by his smile. The, I feel, when I read that, I feel a little bit of lack of empathy on my part with the rose. I don't, I don't have empathy for the rose. You don't, you didn't give me anything to feel empathy for the rose. Maybe the rose deserve to die. And now that it has been reborn with lighting and fire, probably is more dangerous and probably needs to die harder and faster. <laughs> so I need to feel empathy for the rose. Maybe you don't want to. Maybe you can tell me, no, I don't want you to feel empathy. I want you to fear the rose. Okay, but that is a different feeling. You are telling me that I should fear the rose, be, uh, like vicariously, uh, because the enemies fear the rose, so I should fear the rose too. But I don't feel empathy for the rose, and the rose is like your main character here, and I, 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 I kind of need it. I kind of need to feel empathy for the rose, feel, feel, feel some connection with the rose. That, that, will, that will be my feedback on that, on that uh, small piece of writing that you shared with me, right, right here. So why maybe the rose was a slain and it was an injustice, maybe an injustice, an injustice lay upon the rose. And you don't have to say that an injustice happened, but what injustice? Tell me what injustice happened to the rose. And maybe I will side with the rose. And when it it's born again, I will feel empathy with the rose. Does that make sense? Did I explain myself correctly there? I am rendering these guys so much. It's because I am talking and talking and talking. This render should, should have been like this is wrong. I, I will have to go back because look at this render. Look at this render. Look at this render. And this is how he looked before. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I need to tell his destruction first and why he was destroyed. Probably that's the 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 canonical order. Or the chronic chronological order order, like first he was he was destroyed uh, because of reasons, 
and then he was born again, uh, which is a recurring theme in your in your in your in your writing, and then and then vengeance, vengeance uh, is going to fall up, fall upon his enemies. So again, I think that is recurring because you're using a, a, a Jesus-like figure again. Okay, but that that would be the chronolo cr chronological order. But you don't have to do it like that. Why you you can do it like backwards? That would be a creative idea. Like first state the fear and who is feeling who who is who is feeling this fear. And then you state that is a third person or another person, the enemy. Okay, what is fearing? The enemy is fearing the rose. Which rose? The one that are, that arouse from from the concrete. Why? Because this other guy, the one that we talk first, did this and this and this to the rose, and therefore the rose was dead. So the the death is the surprise element. That I, I just talk about it, but but it's a nice exercise to make your your stories, your stories backward, and sometimes they are more interesting. It's like I was telling you earlier, don't don't reveal everything in the beginning. So if I tell you at the beginning, at the beginning, this and this and this happens then I don't have anything else to tell you, right? What if you what if I tell you, this is happening, why? This is happening because of this. Ah, why that happening? Because of that, and that closed the circle of the whole idea. It's, it's more interesting. So, so practice that, you can practice that. Um, I corner myself here, I need to render these guys a little bit better. So it's a metaphor for thorns, and you know why I think. Yes, it's, it's a re recurrent thing. What about changing the subject a little bit? I mean, it's, it's, it's cool because probably that is what you have more, more fresh in your head right now. So it's with what you can improvise because I think you are improvising right now. I think you are you're just 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 writing everything here like an, uh, like an, a creative exercise, which I think is really cool. But it will uh, it will, uh, will also help you if you kind of deal to try to to manage the a different different idea to like let's say that now we're we're talking a lot of like sacrifice there is sacrifice there is rebirth and there is the vengeance right why not just deal lost just, just the lost, something that has been lost forever. That, that's, a, that's an idea. Or joy. What about something, something wholesome? 
better because that is not cool at all. <laughs> probably, probably it's not cool. It's just an exercise, just an exercise. Because I think it, if, if the comic is always about rage and vengeance, it, it will fall flat real quick, real quickly, right? That would be my advice. Uh, uh, why I, I am suggesting you that, that that kind of practice in writing, because if 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 the comic, I always always thinking that you are going to work on your comic. If the comic is like one note, and 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 you hit me with that one note in the guitar, ching 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 ching. And the and the chord never change. The note is always the, the same. I will I will feel really really bored. I don't know. In less than a minute, probably faster. So you got to you got to have your 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 already your ideas established for counterpoints in the story. And these counterpoints is, I don't know, what I was saying. Uh, the guy is at the beach, enjoying the sunlight and enjoying the day, probably getting an ice cream, make something wholesome about your character. He likes ice cream. <laughs> and he likes, I don't know, cats. And he starts sharing, and, and two things came together, cats and ice cream. He finds a, a stray cat in the street and he's sharing his ice cream with this cat and everything is so fucking wholesome. Why do you want that counterpoint? Because the next thing that is going to happen probably is or the or the cat is dead forever and he, he, he cannot, for, for more powerful that he is, the cat is gone forever. And, and, and now he's trapped in the desert. <laughs> so now that he's trapped in the desert and feeling loss and angst makes the desert seem even, even stronger. Before it was just like, now, now a hero is here in the desert. And now it's like, now our hero is here in the desert and he's suffering inside in his feelings wouldn't that be some fucking great storytelling i think it will if you, if you do it like really really nice really properly and i am not saying that i can do it i, I probably i won't wouldn't be i i wouldn't have the, the chops to create a story like that because I am more more of an of, of, of a drawer an artist than, than a writer an artist writer right but but I'm, I I know I know that if if you try you can if you try you can that's for sure. So yeah, you need your whole song. So there, are, uh, let me let me read. I tune my guitar away from the revert. I mean, you're so poetic. Do you speak like that all the time? <laughs> Do you speak like that with your friends? So for that revert and and rolling forever is my goal. Ascension is what I'm looking at here. That sounds so strict, so that sounds so stoic. Like this is the rules, right? <laughs> Everything always ends on a somber note. Yeah. Yeah, are you depressed? Are you okay? <laughs> are you okay, my friend? You have to get you, you got to have fun.
Do you do you need a friend? I am friendly. Yes, to tune your tune your guitar a little bit different. That's a good exercise. I don't know if you if you know how to play guitar. I don't know. But sometimes when you're playing guitar, <laughs> when I'm playing guitar, when you're playing guitar and, 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 and you try to compose something new and everything, every fucking thing your composed sound the fucking same. I've been there, done that. I know the feeling. So everything you compose sounds the fucking same. And a good exercise is to tune your guitar different and start playing it. When you tune your guitar different and start playing it, you start hearing different notes that you never play because you're you're playing with your muscle memory. You're, you're just going to the same fucking notes, but now the notes are in different places. So your ear is like being surprised, like, mm -mm, what is this note? This, this riff sounds kind of cool. And you start like dealing with this new shit and, and, and your cre creativity start to kick in. What, what is creativity? Creativity is not making nice shit. That is not creativity. Creativity is resolving shit. <laughs> creativity is resolving a problem in a creative way. That is creativity. So if you if you have learned a lot on how to do suffer, death, rebirth, and and all that that those things in in and you you're very used to it. Very that is your comfort zone. What about stepping out of there? What about stepping out of the comfort zone? How, how, how do you do? How do you deal with romance? And it's, it's, this is not it's not the idea is not for you to for you to to the idea is not for you to write a romance novel. Is to have an, a rom romantic chapter. In your, in your, what it is? If if anybody in YouTube is seeing this, I am talking with somebody over the chat in Twitch. <laughs> I haven't seen YouTube. I, I am trust. Uh, I am uh, live in YouTube and in Twitch at the same time. Same time. Okay, but the idea is to to have those counterpoints because those counterpoints are going to make the suffer, the death, and the rebirth greater, greater. Let me let me give you an example, very simple, a very cheap example, very, very uh, Facebook file philosophy, <laughs> where the candle shine the most where the fire is more bright in the middle of the day or in the middle of the night so you need the counter you need that counter idea of light you need the darkness so the light can manifest itself better right so if you have everything is somber and dark and dead, you need the life, you need the laughter, you need the love, you need the warm and the soft to counter position those all among softness is where harshness is going to look more harsh. If the guy is in the middle of the desert with a crown of thorns burning away, it cannot be more harsher. But if he's coming from a soft place, probably he was with his lover like moments ago. And he was really cool and really nice. He was the 
having like the best day of his life. Now the crown of thorns feels harsher, feels stronger. Do, do I make sense there for you? Or, or I'm, I'm sounding like, like an idiot? <laughs> because I may sound like an idiot. <laughs> Okay, okay, I am making sense. I am glad. <laughs> I am glad that makes sense for you today. And I hope everything that we have spoken can can help you in your your creativity journey. Obviously, creativity is abstract. Yeah. Something very hard to define. Yes, yes. It's, 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 it's just, think, don't think of those things like medicine, like I need more joy, like I need to take this medicine. Because I, I, am, not, I am not talking about your personal life. I am always talking about your, your comic, right? Your personal life is your personal life, and I and I don't want to know because uh, I am just a stranger on internet. Okay, but we're talking about your story, your comic. So don't think of those things like medicine that you need to take to be better. Like I need my vitamins, so I need to take these vitamins every fucking day, and they are annoying. No, no, no. Think of those as tools. Yeah, exactly. Just, just a story. Think of those as tools that you are going to use, right? So you are using the joy. Joy is a tool that you are using to make the loss and the anger and the angst stronger, right? You are using the soft, warm embrace of the lover just as a tool to channel the fear, right? Have you seen an anime called One Punch Man? One Punch Man. It's really cool. It's about an OP character. It can work for your personal life as well, but it's makes me a better artist. Yes. Yes. If you are a better if you if you are better with yourself, you are a better artist because somehow uh, you will be in better terms with yourself. And when you are doing art, you are talking with yourself a lot. And if you are not in, in, in good terms with yourself Art block is something that is going to happen real soon. Okay, but one, one Punch is about a character. Yeah, you hear about One Punch. It's a character that is OP and he kills all his enemies with a single punch. And I talk to my friends uh, about that character. I tell them that character is amazing because how the creator of One Punch made him vulnerable, he gave him a friend. That's what he does. And, and the One Punch Man is depressed. Is depressed because every single enemy that he fights against dies in, in, in one single punch. So he's, he, he's no longer being challenged. He's, he, 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 it has been months or, or more, more than months that he has ever feel the joy of battle because every battle he just one punches the other guy and kills away. So he's going like that. And there's this super 
super badass character is a cyborg and he's super OP. But the characters that, that came into the, the story are even more OP than the cyborg character. The cyborg character became friend of One Punch Man and then the cyborg character is, is super heroic and he's always in danger, in fatal danger. So One Punch Man, even though he can kill everybody with just a single punch, his best friend can't. And his best friend can die and will die if he doesn't do something quickly, right? So that's that's his 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 vulnerability is being written through the friendship, the new friendship that he has. So this is this is not me. It's, it's not me the one telling you that you need those things to make a better story. Is the other great, great, greatest artist than you and me that has, has done that and has been successful doing it. So why are we going to invent the wheel again? Right? That's that's a good example of what I am telling you. Use those wholesome moments in your favor because when you are going to go really dark really fucking dark the darkness is going to feel even harder in your audience and they can go like oh my god this is a, a, a this is a dark story that we're reading here and they are going to be really excited really excited i i guarantee it to you that yeah it's, it's, it's his only weakness actually the guy is invincible, but his friends are not. This is an amazing concept. Amazing concept. Really cool. Really cool. I don't even have the slightest idea what did I throw here. I'm going to invent. I'm going to invent anatomy. This is fire. This guy has a flamethrower, so this is fire. Is this a hand? Oh my god. Is the best friend becoming the enemy too much of a trope? Probably if you say it like that. It may be the enemy become the lover is another trope. Everything is a trope. Like there is there, there is tropes everywhere. Everything has been so so done, so made and done over and over and over, over again that you can you can trope out every fucking single story. This is why I tell you. I think everything works. Is 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 the the presentation, the way you do it, the execution, what is going to make it different? Because you can make you can make different aspects of that trope, like let's say the the friend becomes the enemy because he doesn't have any choice that would be a trope but also maybe the enemy is our main character like imagine if one punch man loved his friend so much he didn't want to kill him so the issue is his friend is a serial killer mm -hmm. Yeah, he realized that his friend is a bad person and don't want to kill it. That happens so much in Dexter. Have you seen that series, Dexter? He's a serial killer. 
and he hunts down serial killers. But all the time he gets too close to the serial killers and even as even made made friends with them. And then he has to kill them. That happens like several times uh, on on that series. It's, it's like nine. It's like like nine uh, seasons, and he does that in in those nine seasons like five times. Dexter. So he had to stand by and watch his friend cause all this suffering. And he is suffering, but he has to act at the end and, and do something about his friend. But let's make it the other way around. Let's make it the other way around. Always think what happens if you make it the other way around. Like what happens if the main character has to has to become a bad guy, and he the other the other option is is impossible for him, right? And the friend that is not super powerful has to become has has to stop the all super powerful being because the all super powerful being is being a bad guy but the all super powerful being cannot be stopped so if the friend tried to stop him the friend also is going to die so you start telling this story not from the from the main character that has became the the bad guy, but from the friend character that has became the hero suddenly. We all thought that the hero was the hero. No, the hero became the bad guy, and the actual hero is the friend that we thought it was just like a comedian comedy 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 character or something like that. Like like they're robbing to a Batman, something like that. Always think on, on, on another option that also can be the, the same story told, but, but from a different angle, and a different angle could be even better. And also, let's let's do the, the experiment of what if it's backwards? Like, what if we start with the super powerful guy about to kill his friend? because his friend is trying to stop him. And then the story is, uh, goes back in time and they are just friends and they are so happy. And you're reading that you're, you're, you're saying, okay, trope, is, trope is, is, is said and done. Like you get over with the trope so fast that it doesn't matter. You are obvious about the trope. So nobody's going to, to, to give you critique. Because it's like, okay, these guys are going to fight the, the, to the death. And then jump backwards in time. And the guys, I don't know, are having a beer in a bar or having a lot of fun or, or playing a game or something like that. You're like, oh, these guys are going to kill each other really soon. So how? And now you got my attention. So the, the trope can be there. Uh, to me, it's irrelevant if it's tropey or not. To me, the important thing is how will you solve the, that trope?
Well, I said I was going to draw like for an hour and it's almost three hours. Thank you, Yasaya, for for making me draw more that I could possibly do. She was like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I probably am going to try to finish this burst and then I'm going to call, call it out. But I am really glad that I could help you if I did in the slightest today. That will make this evening very worth the while very worth have a good one bodies yeah we think i have to rest now uh, okay today we did like this one I did it in the morning, this one, and this one, almost, almost three. Tomorrow, probably, I'm going to finish these ones and start the fight. And I don't know, maybe I will draw, like, for as much hours as I can, probably 10 hours. Never done a, a, a stream for 10 hours. If I did one... There will be a be right back pause because I will need to eat something and and such and such. But yeah, it will be just straight, straight, straight streaming everything until I finish this. Once I finish the inks, I will go straight into the colors. The colors are going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, and it's going to be ready, ready for polish. And I am hoping to do that in the first week of June, at least or at last the second week of June. That is my goal. This is why I'm going to make such a huge sacrifice tomorrow, um, Sunday. And let's see if I can. <laughs> Thank you very much for all your kind comments, all the conversation, for sharing everything that you share it was amazing it, it's change of ideas of brainstorming of creativity keep me drawing thank you very much it was amazing uh, see you later bye <laughs>